What's up everybody and welcome back. At the end of last summer, everything was fine. I was driving around having fun and then things started to break. Started working on my sister's car. I gave her mine to use. E46 started acting up and the M4 has severely warped front rotors. Why? Because I put the BBS on and the spacers warp the rotors. So today that's what we're going to be working on. I'm going to change out the two front and then save the rear for another time. So let's get to work. What do you think? Notice something different? Hmm? I washed it. Can't tell. get this wheel off and uh, if you can just kind of follow along if I can help you out I will let's get this door open mm. yeah one second Because once we start to push against those um, pistons, brake fluid just falls back in. And with our lucky, trusted, let's go get it. Starts to come back up. If we need to remove some, just take a little tricky basin in there and just remove the brake fluid. So, I'm supposed to take this car back to the truck. Your rotors are severely warped. National brakes. The whole car is vibrating. Doesn't feel too good. Let's see if I can explain this. Okay, there's two little pins that go right here and right here that hold the brake to brace. Just gonna slide that out. Loosen this up right here. I forgot what torque it is. And since we need to remove the rotors, we have to remove the whole caliper. So, you see where that bolt is. to remove the nut that holds the rotor on the hub. Right, and to get the two bolts off in the back, an 18.
hole punch. Well, the punch that goes in here. Just hammer out this pin and this pin. And then that bracket comes off. It's not really too bad, but because the rotors are warped, I'm just gonna put some new ones on. You can see this one, it has a lip on it anyway, so just go ahead and take off. Okay, so little nuts removed but you have two on these big brakes you should be able to get this off no problem you're yeah, right it is seized let me see all the rust right here yeah man I wish I could get my hands on some floating rotors but you know baby steps let me hammer this off really quick So while the rotor is off, see how this is rusted like this? I like to take a wire brush to it, to all of it, and just apply some anti-seize. All right, so I'm going to be going with Acabona brake pads. Um, they're known not to squeak. I got all this from FCP Euro. Uh, yeah. Got all this from FCP Euro. I'll try to leave a link below. But first, I want to try this new toy out that pushes the pistons in. And if you have a four piston caliper like that one there, you're going to need something like this. It just makes it a lot easier. I think you're going to need it because pushing one piston in at a time, like I was doing with the, um, what is that thing, like the press, one goes in, the other comes out. So. This is very handy. Okay, so I had to get my light so I can show you guys where the brake, brake wear sensor goes. This, link, this brake sensor goes into the brake pad and then you just follow it all the way up along this route right here and there's a little box. Once you open this little box, you disconnect this and then just route the same way you came out, this is the same way it goes in. Man, you know what? I was just supposed to be modifying my cars, taking them to the track, and here we are. All right, so this is how this works. Tool here from, you just keep prying it. And the pistons, well this can't fit in there fully, but it should be pushing in the pistons. Also wanna keep an eye on the fluid inside the reservoir and make sure it's not spilling over and you should be good to go but before we do let's clean this up focus and then I'm gonna wait for this to dry and apply some of this and you see his lubricant and then put everything back together I also like to apply a little bit of that anti-seize to the little areas that the, the brake pad slides along it's right along here and they slide like this way so you're gonna put some up here some up here I don't like to put, play around with these pistons so I all right guys so if you're wondering which way this goes this goes with these little vent things facing forward. That's the way it came on the car. That's the way I'm going to put it back. And I'm just going to clean it with some, with some brake clean. Just wipe it off because it comes with some grease on it so it doesn't rust. And 
that's it. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this side. And do the other side. And just put everything back together. And that's pretty much it. We've got the rotor back on the right hand side. And I'm just gonna work on, no, rotor back on the left hand side. And I'm just gonna continue to work on the right hand side of the car. And slowly but surely, everything is getting back to normal. In the beginning of the summer, like I said, I don't have my 335. E46 is acting up, which we're gonna do another video on that. And the M4 rotors were severely warped. Let's go. We made it, boys. See you guys in the next one.